leave the hose on. So you always have your hand on the hose line. That way you know that you're safe and you know that if you turn around and follow that hose line out, sorry, if you follow that hose line out, you'll be outside. It might have been a staged live burn at a firefighter training facility, but for school's superintendent William Height and county executive Ruchern Baker, the flames and the danger were very real indeed. Demonstrating what they hope Prince George's students will soon experience in a new fireman emergency medical technician course, the two deputized firemen suited up in 60 pounds of firefighting gear and got strict instructions on how to stay alive inside an inferno. How this pack works is it's going to be on negative pressure. Right. So the minute you take a breath in, you'll have air. The air will only flow every time you take a breath. It won't be free flowing. If you need a little bit more air, it's called a purge valve, okay? All you have to do is turn it to give yourself a little bit more air. Building on many youngsters' fascination with the work of firefighters and lamenting that so few local firefighters are Prince George's graduates, Local officials recently announced plans to start a two-year fire science course to start in the fall at Charles Flowers High School in Springdale. With the prospect of 500 hours of instruction in the science, art, and sheer physical demands of firefighting, the 24 high school juniors in the first class can look forward to many rewards and opportunities, including perhaps an heroic career. It would have to be 11th graders to start. Um, for it to be effective, it needs to be a two-year program. You need to complete both years. Uh, there's really no way for us to accelerate it. So uh, you start as 11th grader, go on as 12th, and then come away with the certifications. Our commitment to making our kids college ready and career ready, this fits right in there. So you can go on from here to whether you want to go on to medical school, whether you want to go on to whatever. This is tremendous experience for them. And it's a way for them also to go into a job and then work their way into college if they so choose or go down, the, go up the path of being, uh, you know, the next fire chief somewhere. Absolutely right. With the Prince George's Fire Department providing all the instructors, all the equipment, which can run to $3,000 per student fireman, and with the state having certified the course, the opportunity for students to follow in their superintendent's sooty footsteps couldn't be greater. It took so much time making sure you knew exactly what was going to happen in there. Were you well prepared? No question about it. Even in the quick orientation that we had, it, I mean, we were well prepared for almost anything. And the fact that everything must work properly and just thinking that our students at the 11th grade will have that type of process or system that they have to walk through to make sure that not only they're okay, but their teammates and their coworkers are okay. I think that's pretty significant. The pilot fire science program at Flowers High School, which not coincidentally has a new firehouse right across the street, might expand to other schools and perhaps become a dedicated academy. Who knows? Future students might even see an instructor with a familiar face new career? Hey, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing the work of superintendent and I'm also glad and proud of the fact that these public servants are protecting us every day and they're so highly skilled and highly trained and the fact that our students will receive this level of training to be able to operate as public servants I think is tremendous. For channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.